this presentation, we will learn how to use Excel as a basic calculator. So let's begin by typing in some information here. I'm going to write down number, uh, sorry, cost of hot dog. And notice how we're kind of cutting into column B. So I'm going to actually click between column A and B and drag, click and hold down the left mouse button and drag to the right. You can see how I can actually adjust the width of the column. So I have cost of hot dog, and what we have here is I'm going to write down um, two decimal nine nine two ninety nine, and what I'm going to write down here is number sold. So I will type in twenty five. Now, how can we use Excel as a basic calculator? what I'll type in here. So I'm going to click on uh, cell D2 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually type in the equal sign equal. When you type in equals you can actually click on things, click on cells. So when I want to actually equal A2 I'm going to click here and notice how we're going to actually equal the value of cell A2 and I'm going to do multiply. Multiply in many uh, programs and programming languages is the, the asterisk symbol or the star symbol. So A2 multiplied by B2. So I can type it in myself B2 or you can click on it. So you can see up here at the top there's this thing called the formula bar. You can see it has the exact same text as what I'm typing in now. Equals A2 star B2 or A2 times B2 which pr when you press enter it tells you the answer. This is great. We're using Excel as a calculator and this is great because when you have lots of numbers uh, using Excel actually decreases the number of errors that humans make. So let's try another example. How about if I uh, gave you some information such as fo follows. If I told you the mass or the M, variable M, and I'll give you variable C. So what if someone said we have the uh, uh, the mass of some items. I'm just going to pick an arbitrary number four. And what if we have the number three as your C variable? What would Einstein calculate here? He would say that E equals mc squared. So how do we find the value of E? So what I'll do here is I'll type in equals this guy, which is this number times C, which is the this variable over here, B5. So how do I make this squared? So this is where we need to learn another symbol. I'm going to hold down Shift 6, which is the caret symbol. And uh, this means squared. So when you press Enter, you get the answer, 36. Notice how someone might have just typed in the number 36, but we can tell if you're using the actual uh, uh, formula here in the formula bar, you can see equals A5 times B5 squared. And that's, uh, this here should be right. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, so this is correct. Uh, now, sometimes we have formulas where you actually have to be careful about using brackets because we learned in math uh, about bed mass. Now, in this case, we didn't have to worry about it because the little exponent symbol is automatically evaluated before multiplication. So let's try, try one more as a challenge. Could you, so let me just um, click on this top left corner here, or you can uh, to select everything and press delete. Can you create a formula to actually, uh, this is a little challenge, uh, uh, this is a little bit of a challenge to, to actually calculate what the temperature is. So if I say Fahrenheit, say the Fahrenheit is, um, we'll just say 98.6 Fahrenheit, how would you calculate this amount in, in Celsius? So if I type in Celsius and I want to calculate this, how would you do that? Well, what we could do is figure out what the formula is. So if you Google it, converting Fahrenheit to Celsius, you will realize that the 
the formula. So let me just uh, try this formula. What if what if we were um, we start off with a number 37 Celsius? So Americans would probably wonder, well, why is it so cold in Canada? 37 Celsius. It sounds cold, but actually it's not. So if I gave you the formula, if you Googled it, you would find out that Fahrenheit is equals to Celsius times 9 fifth plus 32. Notice how I put the brackets there because we need to evaluate this first together. That's the formula. So how would I actually implement this formula up here? So this is where you type in equals and I'm going to actually click on cell B2 here. Click on this value. I'm not going to type it in because we want to, we want to understand something here. B2 times bracket 9 fifth plus 32. Oops, let me try that again. Equals this value times bracket 9 fifth plus 32. Don't put in any spaces. So just press enter and we have 98.6. So we can very quickly use a formula to figure out the Fahrenheit. And the powerful thing about Excel is that everything automatically updates. If I were to actually click on this value, and change it to something very hot such as 40 degrees in the middle of the summer. Press enter. Notice how the Fahrenheit automatically updates. This is incredible. This is what makes Excel so powerful and automatic. And uh, in fact, if you change numbers and you create a create a graph, the graph itself will automatically update. <laughs>